Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play the Path. When we left off last time, uh, we managed to, I'm pretty sure we killed the girls when we bring them to their wolves. So we killed Ginger. Uh, and now we've got Rose here. Her wolf is at the lake, but we are going to continue going through the forest and find all the different memories before we go there. So we're, if we're, I'm still working on the theory that the kind of gray shaded ones are the memories that are particular to the girl that we're playing at the time. So we've got three left to find. And I think we're just gonna continue wandering aimlessly. That should eventually pay off for us. We'll end up somewhere. This is, this is the lake again. We don't want to go anywhere near there. Yet. There was a boat on the lake and it was stormy. So I think she either drowns or she's struck by lightning. There's something over here. Okay, this is more water, and we didn't want to mess with water just yet, but... Maybe it's not water. Maybe it's just... No, it's just a patch of wood that looked watery. Anyhow. I want to head over to what this is. Oh, this is that armchair. Yeah. How do you feel about this chair? Go ahead, have a seat. It's probably kind of musty and gross sitting out in the woods as it is, but... Feel as light as air. I may fly away any minute now. But not a memory for her basket. Oh well, we can get this flower at any rate. from the lake, but just the way this is misty over here and opens out, it feels... No, because there's a, a little puddle again. Yeah, that's definitely the lake. Okay, get away from there. Go another direction. Let's walk a bit, see if we can see any flowers shining in the distance. There's something off in the distance. Let's go that way. Well, first we'll stop here. Although we already got the knife out of here, so... Yeah, she's just kind of standing there, not really interested. Where was that bit of shine I saw? I think I saw something this way. Maybe not. Alright, stop a minute. Mm, nothing's sticking out. I do really like this exploration aspect. I like wandering through the woods. I used to do a lot of that when I was younger. I'd wander all over the place through the woods and fields. 
really like to just explore places. I don't really do that so much now. It's, you know, as you get older, you start to realize, you start to feel, it's not that I, I feel necessarily unsafe, but it's just, I guess I'm more aware of the risks that are out in the world and that a woman walking alone does present something of a target. And so it, it's just not wise to go wandering off by myself. So I don't really do it anymore. But that's really, I don't know, it's kind of, it, it's probably smart that I don't do that, but it, it's kind of sad too, because I used to have no fear. I go wandering out like at nighttime, just go for a walk in the summer when it's been a really hot day and so it's nice and cool in the evening. And I just walk all around, not worry about it. Even in winter, there was a time once I was in volleyball and it was during the winter season. And our school district was, it was kind of weird. The other schools that we would play against were not close. We went to a place, I think it was almost like an hour and a half or a two hour drive just to get down there. And then we had, you know, JV game, varsity game. So by the time we got home, it was really late. I think it, it was around 11 or midnight. And my mom had said to give her a call when I got home. But I thought, well, it's only... You know about a half mile walk home from school so I just walked it you know in the middle of the night in winter but I didn't think anything about it it didn't scare me or anything it was actually really cool most people are asleep but they still have their porch lights on and it was snowing lightly so as you know the lights all diffuse the way it is when it snows it was just kind of this sort of silent almost magical feeling out there in the night all the lights glowing on the snow but no one out and about. I don't think I'd do something like that again now, though. Now that I'm older, I'd be worrying about the bad things that could happen. Alright, let's see if she has anything to say about this in the bathtub. And I think this is the side we want. Yep, there's your sister's smiley face. How do you feel about that? She doesn't care. She says, this place doesn't mean anything to me. Try my sister's. At least she doesn't climb in. She'll just sit on the edge. The closest thing to heaven must be floating on water. Not to have weight is the dream of the soul. I can get behind that sentiment. Used to swim a lot. Still swim sometimes now, and I always do. It's very relaxing to just float and look up at the sky. Scarecrow over here, right? I think maybe. Yeah. Any opinion on this, Rose? The harmony of nature, the melody of a flower, from the darkness in the light, nothing is bad. I think that's all she's got here. Just a bit of commentary. Oh no, she's gonna pick a flower. Or she's gonna lay down with flowers. 
To be in the mist. To be missed. To be missed. To miss. To be. She's a very philosophical sort of girl, our Rose. Looks like we're getting a little bit dark here, Rose. We've been taking too long. Night times are coming. We still got those things to find, though. And that's part of why I felt so much before like I needed to run. Like I need to find things quickly before it gets dark. Like I'm on a a time limit. And I still don't know. Maybe there's nothing bad about the dark. It's just dark. It might be fine. It'd be disappointing if it... you fail somehow if it gets too dark, but... I don't... Even though this takes longer, I think I miss more when I run. Okay, I need to stop hanging out at this part of the map. Well, maybe not. There's... A, I know there's things up here to see, but there's no more flowers. I think I've mostly cleared it out. Okay, but I think I saw something here. Oh! Back here! This isn't anywhere I want to be. This way for a bit. Oh, there's the spider web. Let's see if she has thoughts about that. Was that Ginger? Oh, shoot. I think I missed the spider web with Ginger. That's disappointing. There's certainly more to find, Rose. We haven't managed to come across the campground or the playground yet. They're out here somewhere. just a little bit. Okay, I think if we had an right across here, right, it's an area that we haven't taken her to yet. If I'm reading that sort of map correctly. something up here. The bathtub again. Oh, good grief. How did I do that? And there's the scarecrow. I'm going to do some running now just to try and get far away from these places we've already been. But now I'm going to stop because the map looked like I'm going where I want to be now. Just a little jogging.
Dang it. if these little symbols around the side of the screen are telling me something. Like right now we can see the flowers and yeah they kind of move as I do. I think it's telling me what direction things are in. Some things anyway. things is on top of the screen. If I run all the way to one side, does it kind of circle around? Or is there an edge to the map? Okay, Rose, this has been a fair chunk of time wandering around without finding anything. We gotta come across something. And now, if that's the map, I'm at the top of it. I think maybe it does wrap around. Somehow. Oh, there's a flower. So let's go ahead and pick that. Oh, good, and it's by something. Oh, this is that bird carcass, isn't it? think, Rose? It says we're in the middle of a patch we haven't explored with you yet. There should be something out here. flower we walked right by. Spin round. Well, we're 
making some progress on those at least. That's something, I guess. Would rather find another landmark, though. Like there's a whole bunch that we haven't checked out at all over here. Maybe this is where we'll find some of those missing memories. Well, Rose, some areas of this forest are full of all kinds of strange things, and other areas are just full of trees. Oh. No, that's the well. How did we come back to the well? Misremembering, I think. Was it the other sister at the well? I'm getting so mixed up now, girls. No, because she says deep inside everybody's a dream. We did find this. Step. Alright. Yeah, I don't have any clue where to go. Now, before we know it, we're going to be back at the lake without meaning to be. But I really want to find those last three. It's bugging me that we haven't run across the playground this time. Because the other times we came across it fairly early on. I suppose if she's out here long enough for it to get dark, then at least we'll have the benefit of the uh, sunlight shining through the trees to kind of highlight, well not sunlight, whatever the kind of light we get to highlight where our uh, special areas are. So I can use that at any rate. Oh, a car! Yeah, yeah, get over there. flowers on the way? Okay, I don't think so. Over to this car. Now then. How do you feel about this, Rose? Your sister cares about the car. You do not. All right.
let's go just a little bit more. anything up here where it's so bright? Don't tell me it's the freaking lake again. Yeah, it is. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and wind the episode down here. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. I'm gonna wander around with her some off screen and see if I can find something that we've not run across already before. Because I, I really want to get the memories. I want to do better than a C. So I'll meet you when I found something interesting for her.